Hey, so are you all sick and tired of what's going on out here in this world? Are you tired of the, the high interest rates of everything? When you go to the grocery store, you just can't find things or maybe you just can't afford them anymore and everything else. And it's just getting a little bit unnerving, isn't it? I mean, more than likely, it's just kind of like pissing you off. Sorry, folks, but it's just the truth. You know, I had some notes here I was going to read off of, but... You know, this is about where we're going with this whole situation nowadays. You know, you really have to sit back and think about what is taking place. We've got a president now that wants to uh, do away with the sanctions and everything else against like Venezuela and these kind of countries so that we can buy the oil there. Hello, folks. Don't see anybody see anything wrong with this. As I talked about in my live stream on Saturday, you know, I'm not going to go into the whole situation, but I mean, come on, let's use a little common sense here. Why do we want to fund somebody that wants to kill us? Doesn't make any sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Put it in the comments below. If it makes sense, put yes. And if it doesn't, put no. So let's keep going on this subject here. All right. So instead of having to do those type of things and give money to somebody else, why can't we just do it here? You know, I mean, this country all of a sudden now, quote, with the Green New Deal, you know, they want to be so environmentally you know sound and everything else they want everybody to drive a electric car and all that but we don't have the infrastructure for it and who can afford to go out and buy a 60 to 80 thousand dollar electric car nowadays and you're probably going to get about 100 200 miles maybe out of it you know so you got to have charging stations every few hundred miles in some place to charge these things right i mean it's just the way it works whereas when you fill your cat your car up with gas you drive to the next gas station and fill it up again but talking about gas prices i mean come on i mean diesel fuel this week is what is it 560 a gallon on a national average uh, national average of uh, regular gas is four dollars and fifty cents a gallon i mean come on it's just like ripping everything out of your back pocket really and all these analysts and everything else you know all these people are all predicting that by august of this year if nothing changes really soon what's going to happen then boom they're talking six dollar plus a gallon of gas so that means diesel is probably going to be seven something i can guarantee if that happens trucks will be parked and nothing's going to be able to be moved because nobody's going to move it they're not even going to fire the trucks up, but it ain't even worth it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the writing is on the wall here. Then we turn around and what else do we have? You know, you've got more of this whole, you know, these pandemics and everything else. You know, all these viruses that are coming out now. And it makes one wonder exactly what is taking place. Okay, one, it is a controlled release from somebody. Two... Maybe it's the end of the world, the book of Revelations is telling the truth and we all need to get on our hands and knees and pray to God and make sure that we're good to go. Three, well, maybe there's another entity out there that would really like to just slowly destroy us and get us off the place, off this planet. And maybe it's planet Earth itself. It's tired of us destroying everything and it's tired of us, you know, doing what we do to each other you know you turn the news on anymore and all you see in your local areas is you know somebody shot somebody overnight this person was killed you know all this kind of stuff you get these mass shootings going on all over the place people just don't care about people anymore and you see that's half the problem with this country everybody's so divided and and everything else if we could just come back together throw out the freaking government and you know what we'd probably be all right just start all over clean slate as i would call it you know but i mean hey what do we have to do how much are you willing to take before it's the breaking point you know i'm noticing there's a lot more uh, eviction notices that are going out on people's doors nowadays as i do my route on a daily basis same route same every day monday through friday i see it all folks 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, you see all these eviction notices going up in all these different apartment complexes. You know, these people are being thrown out. You know, they got a family, they got kids and everything else. And I know the parents and stuff work. They just can't afford it anymore, especially down here in Florida where they want to charge you an arm and a leg for a two-bedroom apartment. You might as well throw in one of the kids, too, if you want a freaking bathroom. You get what I'm saying? We're going the wrong direction here, and all they're trying to do is take every last penny you have, and if you have a gold tooth, they'll take that, too. They'll just rip it out of your head. Do you understand? I mean, I kind of make light of it just a little bit, but I'm being very serious here. These are some serious things that are taking place that we really need to be paying attention to so that we can survive what is taking, what is taking control. You know, you still got China under lockdown, so I mean, that's a whole nother mess over there, but that's all gonna be a ripple effect for us folks. You see, you have to look further out and see that all these things are falling in line. We got the monkey pox, we still got the bird flu, you got COVID, another offspring of that thing is probably springing up and everything else. And answer me this, why does it seem like everything starts in New York? I just don't get it, all right? Everywhere else, Florida just announced that, you know what? Out of the international travelers that are flying into this country, we get 45% of those travelers here, which is a record. But yet in New York, they get all these funky little things that all of a sudden start spreading all over the place. Is it just me? Or is anybody else out there going, hmm, something doesn't smell right? Right? So, point being here, folks, is you need to be doing whatever you can do to get prepped and get ready. Top off your preps, do whatever you can do. And this way here, if it is meant to be, we'll all survive this and we'll ride this storm out. And if it is the almighty God upstairs coming down to take us all away, well, then maybe your neighbor may be able to survive a little bit longer eating your preps because you won't be here. You won't need it. You'll be sitting upstairs back on a nice sandy beach, relaxing and enjoying yourself. Because the chaos down here is just starting. It's only gonna get worse as everything starts to climb inflation tax rates food gas rent mortgages and it's all going to come crashing down around everybody that's not prepared so until next time folks i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this video today make sure that you're getting out there make sure you're doing everything you can to be prepped and ready whatever you can do at this point in time, it's better than sitting back and not doing a damn thing. I'll catch you all on the flip side.